we have achieved together. We no go tap for make history. We make history together. We promise and we do what you say we'll go do. We bring free education to all the primary school and secondary school then. We put 45% per teacher than pay for the well body business. The, then one way to met before now the whole world. I mean the master savvy people then for well body. Now we they see as the number one for tap this plenty die per mommy and picking them. By that I mean maternal mortality rate. We reduce them by 60%. When you vote for SRPP, we pick it. Sierra Leone is President Julia Sumada Biu was re-elected to serve a second term with 56.17% of the vote. The head of the Electoral Commission said Tuesday, prompting the runner-up to categorically reject the result. Biu's main challenger Samula Kamara, who came second with 41.16% of the vote according to final results announced in Freetown, branded the result not credible. I categorically reject the outcome so announced by the Electoral Commission, he said on Twitter. Vote tallying had already been disputed by Kamara's All People's Congress, which condemned in a statement Monday an alleged lack of inclusiveness, transparency and responsibility by the Electoral Commission. The party pointed to the lack of information about which polling stations or districts the ballots were coming from. It had said it will not accept these fake and cooked up results. In a later statement, the party alleged overvoting in some areas and said it continues to reject the fabricated results and reaffirms our victory. But Bio supporters welcomed the results. I'm happy Bio won. We want him to fix the economy and create jobs. Susan Myers, 34 years old said they also said they received reports of violent incidences in six regions including the use of live ammunition in three districts about 3.4 million people were registered to vote in saturday's election bio 59 years old a former coup leader in the 1990s has championed education and women's rights in fast civilian term Kamara, 72 years old, a former foreign and finance minister, had assailed the Electoral Commission throughout the campaign period over alleged irregularities and delays. Sierra Leone is also voted in parliamentary and municipal elections Saturday. EU observers denounced violence by security forces at the APC headquarters in Freetown on Sunday night in what the police said was an effort to disperse opposition supporters which left one woman dead. Thank you so much for watching. Peace.